All right, hey virtual people. So this is the lab, and I figured it'd be easier just to do this virtually and let you kind of watch and take data as you go. So you want to pull up the lab itself, and I'm going to have all the data for you. And so you'll just have to look at the instructions just so you kind of know how it was set up. But more importantly, you want to pull up the spreadsheet because the spreadsheet will allow us to take the data. <clears throat> so this is a car and the car has a force sensor on top. So this is the force sensor. It's got a little button on the end. And we're going to have the car move down the ramp. We're going to start it at 30 centimeters. We're going to let it hit a block. So that's super rigid. Once we do that once, we're going to do it two more times. So we're going to average everything. And then we're going to replace the block with a piece of foam. And when we replace it with a piece of foam, that should lessen the force and increase the time of impact, which is good. That's kind of what we want. So we're going to start that by going ahead and we're going to put the block right here. I'm going to set this right at 30. And then I've got to look over here so I can see the data. And I'm going to go ahead and hit collect. We're going to let it run. And now we've got some data. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to select, so we can zoom this in a little bit, and we're going to zoom it in. And this is where it just started to hit the wall, and then this about right here is about where it stopped hitting the wall. Now, one thing I didn't change is I didn't change my rate. So I'm going to go in, and I'm going to change this rate to 200. We're going to get better data this time. So we're going to do it one more time and take a little bit better data here. So we'll just back it back up and we're going to hit the collect button. And we're going to let it go. Now we're going to have better data. So let's see what we've got. Um, at this point, we're going to select right here. And now we can take a look at the zoomed in information. And we're going to select this much, and we're going to do some statistics. So on the statistics, you're going to notice that the time of impact was 0.125 seconds, and the change in Y, which is the amount of force that the car received, was 5.444 newtons. So in the spreadsheet where it has... Um, so in the spreadsheet where it has the impact time, you want to put the point 0.125. And where it has the maximum force, we're going to put 5.444. So that's for the first try. Now we're going to do it two more times with the 30 centimeters. So we're going to back this up. Go back to the 30 again. We're going to hit collect. We're going to let it run. Once it hits one time, we can have it stop. And now we're going to select this part again, and we're going to blow it up. We're going to select the data we need, so from here to here. And then there is your statistical analysis. You can write those things down. And if you need to pause the video to do that, you sure can. Now I'm going to go back, and we're going to do it again. And this will be the third trial at 30 centimeters, and we'll collect data. We'll let it rip here, and then once it stops, we will select it. I'm going to make it bigger, and then let's check and see what we get from this one. And here are your statistics. So that was the third trial. Let's do the same thing again for 30, but we're going to do it using the foam and see if the foam makes a difference. It should. So here we go, we've got the foam, we're going to do this right at 30, and we're going to do the next row of data. So we're going to hit collect, we're going to have it come over and hit, and you'll notice that now we have a much smaller amount of force, um, which is good, because that's the way the foam should work. So I'm going to select again, where it starts and stops, you'll notice it's a little bit smoother curve here, and we'll do statistics. So there's our first trial. With, uh, our time didn't change much on that one, but our force sure did, the delta Y. Let's do it a second time. So I'm going to come back. I'm going to hit it again. I'm going to get the soft again. So let's see what we get. And once it stops, we'll select it. We'll do the blow it up. We'll select 
the points for you, and then we're going to do this, and do statistics, and there are your statistics for this one. So let's do it one more time. So this will be our third time to go through. So we're going to say collect, boom, boom, and let's see what we get. All right, cool, so we're going to blow this in. And now we've blown it up, let's select where it changes. So there we go. And statistics. So now you have the first set of data. We're going to now move it to 60 centimeters. So now we should get a bigger force um, than we did the first time. And uh, let's back it up. There we go. There's 60. And we're going to collect. And we're going to let it roll all the way down there. So a bigger bounce that time. We get a much bigger force. So we're going to select, zoom. We're going to select again. And then we're going to take a look. Statistics. So now we've got a point one three, and we see that the force now is all the way up to about twelve. Let's go ahead and do it another time. So here we go again. We're going to do this and collect. And this is the second trial for sixty. And let's check and see what we get. So there we go. We can zoom it. And we're going to select what we need. And we're going to do the statistics. So now you can do that. And then we're going to do the third one. So here comes number three for the block. And then when we get our peak, we can select what we want. We're going to zoom in. We're going to do this this way. And check the statistics. Okay, so that is the 60. Now we're going to do this whole thing again. Uh, but we're going to do the phone. So we'll put the phone in here and see what the phone gives us. So we're going to do this again. We're going to start at 60 again. Hit collect. It's going to go all the way across. There we go. And we get a lot smaller peak than we did before, which is good. And we're going to select where it starts and where it goes back to the same point. And do statistics. So here's your first one for foam in 60. And now we'll do it again. So this will be the second one for foam in 60. We'll let it stop. And this is foam in 60 for the second one. And we'll select. the same spot and we'll do statistics and now you've got the data for the second one and let's do it one more time at the 60 mark so here we go this is our last time at the 60 mark okay cool and now we can select zoom select our data again and do statistics. Okay, so now you can write down your delta x and delta y. And we're going to do it one last time here for uh, our last measurement, which is 90. And so we'll have a lot more speed here. We'll see if this still works at 90. And I'm going to set that there. And this is the red block at 90. We'll see if we get a much bigger distance. There we go. And so, yeah, we did. We got a much bigger force on this one. So we'll zoom it. We'll then figure out how much we have here in terms of time and force. So there is run one. That's run number one. We're going to do run number two at 90. So here we go. Run number two at one. Find its way. And it's going to bounce a couple times here. So now we can select, we're going to zoom, we're going to select, we're going to do the statistics, and there we go, so we've got pretty good data there. We're going to do it one more time at 90. So here comes the 90. And it is on its way. So there we go. And we'll move this over. We're going to do zoom it. 
and let's check and see what we got data wise here. I actually want to do this again. Okay. Let's start here, move over to where it's connecting. There we go. And there is our statistics. Okay, cool. So now that we've done that three times, let's do it three times with the phone, and then you can do your calculations and answer your questions and then upload your answers when they're done. So now I'm going to do correct. And this is the first one at 9 with the phone. So it is again a lot smaller than it was without the phone. So we're going to zoom this guy up and then we're going to do some statistical analysis here. So where it starts and stops and then new statistics. And now you've got your time and you have your delta y. Let's do it again for the 90. This will be number two. Run number two. So Boink. And let's see what we get here. So we can zoom. And oops. Now we zoom. We gotta do the statistics. Now we'll put in the statistics, and we're set there. So now you see your delta x, your time, and your delta y, which is your force. And we have one more trial here. It sounds like there's something on the wheel. So we'll move it down a little bit. And there we go. So we'll collect. And this is the third one. Boink. And so now we have our third set of data there. We can zoom in. We can choose our two points. Looks good, and now we can statistics, and we are set. So now you just fill in the rest of the sheet, make sure you answer the questions, and then upload when you're all done. And that's it. There's also video notes for tonight, as well as another concept builder. So if you need any help, shoot me a text or send me a text message, and that is it.